Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. And today we're looking at the new Canik TP9 Sub Elite. Newest offering from Canik is right here. It's a subcompact TP9. Offers everything that the TP9 series has, but in a smaller package with a 3.6 inch barrel. And what makes this a little bit more special is that it is optic ready. It also has a plate included in the case that you could add an optic for those who love that. Now it also has additional and additional back strap as well as other things in the case like this holster that we have come to know from canning. They offer a lot. Here we'll show clear here. And this holster that I have been wearing the last couple days, uh, it's currently set up for outside the waistband, but you can turn these clips around and go inside the waistband. But it is a nice carry uh, option that also includes a holster. But here it is. Very nice setup. It comes with a 12-round magazine with an extended base plate. They also have a flat base plate for the smallest configuration possible and a 15-round magazine that looks like that and right, it gives you the full grip feel to it in a subcompact format but it has a pick rail here two slot pick rail a beautiful tungsten finish and i have the same finish on my tp9 sfx the full size and i do like that and after owning it for about three years now there is nowhere at all it also has a loaded chamber indicator bar that pops up uh, front dot there and blacked out rear sights that our metal, both our metal and does have a ledge there to charge the gun off a boot, belt, whatever. It also has a striker fire indicator, all right, already showed clear, but that will go away when the gun is no longer charged. The trigger itself is nice, it does have a trigger bar safety in there, and that's what we're looking at with the reset. All right, I'll get more into this when I do my tabletop review, but I'm at the range now and I am here to shoot. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll come back and talk more about this TP9 Sub Elite. The TP9 Sub Elite is an ambidextrous gun, so you can see that it does have the slide stop on both sides, and the magazine release that comes on the left side is reversible for lefties. But one thing I really like is the way the gun disassembles. So here we have an unloaded firearm. All you do is pull the trigger, move the slide back a little bit, pull these takedown tabs down, and then just move forward, and off comes the slide. And there we have a dual recoil spring, 3.6 inch barrel, and then there is the frame. And then to reassemble, all you do is place this back on. You get it to this point right here, where it's placed on, and then pull it back like that, and you're good to go. Let's do a limpress test with the TP9 Sub Elite. Pretty darn impressive. It passed! So there it is, the new Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact. This was my range review, but we're going to get a closer look with a table review and compare it with other guns of the same class, weight and everything else. But I have to say, after putting several hundred rounds through this gun, I'm pretty impressed with it and it performed excellent. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.